The basic steps of integrating multiple sets of monitors into your system are pretty straightforward, especially if you're using a monitor controller that's designed specifically for that application. However, there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind in addition to that initial setup. First is the monitoring level. As you may know, louder is usually perceived as better when compared to a quieter signal. And for this reason, you want to make sure that you match the perceived loudness anytime you're comparing two signals. This piece of advice applies to A-B testing within a plugin, and it also applies to A-B testing with multiple monitors, adjusting the output volume level on each monitor. To put this into action, I'd recommend the following steps once you've got everything connected. This process is to make sure that each of the four studio monitors provide the same DBSPL at the listening position. So I've got pink noise playing out of the DAW. I've got the knob set to some nominal level that I can return to. And the SPL meter from Amazon is right here at the listening position. When I unmute Studio Monitor A, it currently plays out of both the left and right speaker. So what I'm gonna do is pan the pink noise to the left side and then unmute Studio Monitor A. And on the SPL meter, we can see that we're reaching about 74 and a half to 75 dB SPL. Let's pan over to the right side. So now we're going to play pink noise out of studio monitor set A right. That one also comes in at about 75 dB SPL. Then we can just repeat that process with Studio Monitor B. Panning to the left. Okay, this one is coming in about 76 dB SPL. Now we want to keep the knob the same because that would affect all of the studio monitors. What we need to do is get behind this studio monitor and adjust its volume output level. All right, now this one is also reaching this at 75 dB SPL. So we will pan to the right and activate Studio Monitor B again. And now, theoretically, if we did everything correctly, all four Studio Monitors have the same sensitivity. You send in a signal at minus 18 dB full scale, and at the listening position, you'll hear that signal at about 75 dB SPL. And what that allows us to do is when we pan this back to the center, and when we play music, we can switch between A and B without being distracted by the level difference between the two so that we can focus on the more important things. Now, the topic of studio monitor level calibration really does deserve its own video. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in learning more about that. Keeping the monitoring level consistent is important because we tend to perceive louder signals as more balanced, as seen in the Fletcher Munson curve data. You'll also want to ensure that your subwoofer is properly aligned with your monitors, both from a crossover frequency and an overall level perspective. In many cases, a subwoofer is designed to be used with a particular pair of monitors that will have a built-in crossover filter, but it's important to get the level right or you run the risk of reducing the performance of that crossover. 